Hi, let's solve one previous question of HIP. This question was asked in GET CS 2016 set 1, question number 37. The operation delete I for a binary HIP data structure is to be designed to delete the atom in the ith node. Assume that the HIP is implemented in an array and I refer to the ith index of the array. If the HIP tree has depth D, number of edges and the path from root to that leaf then what is the time complexity to refix the heap efficiency after removal of the element and four options are given during lecture i discussed how we can delete the root but here we can delete directly the ith element and that will take order of one time as index is given directly we will go to that position and we can delete so the efficiency of deletion is determined by number of key comparison required to hippify after deletion. So you need to do max hippify and max hippify take order of log n. Log n is the height. Here rather than height, depth d is given. So it will be order of d. So hippify will take time order of d. Delete i will be order of 1 plus order of d. So running time will be order of D. Order of 1 for deletion, order of D for hippify. To refix the heap, we need order of D. So answer will be option B, order of D but not order of 1. Deletion is order of 1 but after that we need to refix, that will be order of D. Let this is a max shift. We can write it in array format like 10, 8, 5, 6, 2, 1. 3 in level order and index will start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Suppose we want to delete second element. So delete second directly will go to this position. So what we'll do? We'll swap this 8 with last element. 8 will come here, 3 will come here. Next we'll decrease the heap size means we'll delete this part. After that we need to hippify this. So its children are 6 and 2, 6 is the largest, 6 will come here, 3 will come here. Now after deletion we got this array. So to delete that element order of 1, to max simplify it is order of D. I already discussed how we can delete the root, just go through that lecture, you can easily solve this question and if this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe. Thank you.